It's about that time of day again. Boy, that time flies when you're having fun. My name is Joseph. It's Tuesday evening, July the 18th. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter. We're covering crude oil, S&P, gold, euro, and FDAX tonight. Crude is bearish and trying to retest today's low, but we get some rising support telling us to trade this like a triangle ahead of the weekly inventory report tomorrow morning. The S&P is bullish, and we recently reached a measured move along with today's high, telling us to look for a two-legged pullback off the high so the buyers can buy the dip for a target going right back to retest the measured move tomorrow. Gold is bullish with a spike in channel, which always tells us look for that two-legged pullback back into the battle zone tomorrow. The euro is bullish with a spike in wedge, telling us to watch for a deep pullback off the high, got a great reversal line on the euro, and they got a convenient wedge and double up target for you euro traders tomorrow. Get a great chart on the euro. Stay tuned for more on that. And of course, last but not least here tonight, DAX is bearish and trying to move back to monthly support. Talked about that in last night's newsletter, and we're using a flag pattern combined with a battle zone for the most reliable selling opportunities on Wednesday. Got a great newsletter in store for you guys and gals tonight. We got some big news on the calendar for crude traders tomorrow. Got some big ranges to work with. I'll tell you right now, the month of July has been incredible so far, and I got a great plan in store for tomorrow's Wednesday's session. Before we jump into our charts tonight, please don't forget the only place to watch the full-length version of this video is on our blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. If you're watching the video right now on our YouTube channel, not to worry, there's a link in the description of that YouTube video. Follow that link. Come join me here on the blog at Sideways Markets for the full-length version, all five markets and all the analysis. While you're here on the blog, don't forget, join the mailing list. I'll send you an email every evening when the nightly newsletter goes live. Don't forget to follow me on social, stock Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever your favorite flavor of choice. I'm always posting important charts, links, and updates throughout the week there. Make sure you grab those charts. The most consistent feedback that I get from you guys is you love the fact that you guys can download those charts and have them ready for your computer and your trading session tomorrow. Grab those charts only on the blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. And don't forget to grab your free pass. You're going to learn more with me in 90 minutes on that free pass than you will anywhere else on the interwebs. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Don't delay. Grab that free pass in the upper right-hand corner and come join me as a guest for a few days this week or next in our trade room. Hope you guys are having a great week here so far. we get a hump day session tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, being Wednesday, July the 19th. That, of course, means a couple things. First of all, we got the petroleum status report. That's kind of the big news on the schedule for tomorrow. If you're a crude oil trader, you definitely want to be aware of the weekly petroleum status report, the weekly inventory report. Now, a couple things about this tomorrow morning for all the crude traders. First of all, 15-minute cutoff. That means at 10.15 tomorrow morning, right, cutting it off, wait for that news to come out, and then give it at least 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes afterwards. It's always kind of a guessing game to see how long we have to wait after that news comes out. So tomorrow, 15-minute cutoff before the news, and then give it at least 5 minutes if not 10 maybe 15 minutes afterwards let it calm down and then you can finish up right your morning uh trading the reaction to the inventory report don't forget the most reliable trading opportunities on wednesdays for crude traders will always come before 10 a.m so get to it early in the london or the u.s morning session tomorrow also i want to remind you too i've got all the levels are posted on my blog all the levels for tomorrow are going to be right below this video on the blog at sidewaysmarkets.com. Again, if you're on the YouTube channel right now, make sure you follow that link in the description. Come over to the website at Sideways Markets. If you're on the blog right now, scroll down where it says click here to read more. Follow that link and you'll get all the, all the inventory support and resistance levels that are good for Wednesday. Now, if you follow me on any of my social media channels, I also sent that information out to you guys a couple hours ago, so you guys already have that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using those tomorrow. The level for the inventory report tomorrow are only good for Wednesday, right? So use them or lose them, and they're always very, very reliable. Outside of that, we get the housing starts tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, so that will get the party started with us in the trade room tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Speaking of the trade room tomorrow, what are you waiting for? Come out and join me as a brand new advanced member and come out and execute the plan every day in our trade room alongside all the other professional and advanced members. Let's keep going here. Jumping into some charts here tonight. Get a plan for tomorrow. Again, start off with crude. We'll go crude, S&P, gold, euro, and DAX tonight. Let's kick this thing off here tonight with crude. Again, don't forget, 
right? You've got all those support and resistance levels for tomorrow. Be watching that closely as we apply for Wednesday. Again, just for Wednesday's session, all right? Now, crude is bearish inside a triangle ahead of tomorrow's weekly inventory report, which tells us that although anything can happen ahead of this news, we expect to see the best trading opportunities at the highs and lows of this triangle. The bears have control, right? So we definitely want to err on the side of selling, right? And they are trying to retest today's low. I was actually expecting them to be down at today's low based on what we saw earlier on today. So the goal for the bears is to look for selling opportunities up at levels of resistance, up inside that battle zone, up at the top of that triangle with a target going back down to retest the low. The most important thing that I want you to remember for tomorrow is that it's an inventory day. And as much as we have, you know, as bearish as this market looks right now, we oftentimes see on Wednesday morning, by the time we come in, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the U.S. session, we oftentimes see a complete trend reversal. So I'm going to do my best, but bear with me here. Tomorrow's the big news event of the week for crude. Oftentimes we see a complete kind of jackknife, right, trend reversal in the opposite direction ahead of that news, almost as if to set up the news to go right back where we came from. So bear with me tomorrow. Big, big news tomorrow. Right now, I think the most important thing is we have a triangle. That triangle, of course, we've got some lower highs, we have some higher lows, and of course, we get a bear directional bias. The bears definitely have control here right now. I have that marked up as a bear channel. I wouldn't argue with you if you had it on as a bear spike in channel. That also makes sense as well. It doesn't really change much, to be honest with you. Uh, we're definitely looking for a move up and then back down. It's just too bad it all happened during that API report this afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. So really at this point, what you're looking for is I want to be a seller, but I do not want to sell into this rising support trend line. You can tell even after such a big, strong red candle, look what happened. They couldn't even push it through that low. That's a big, big clue. So definitely looking for price up right, and back down, looking for price up and back down, right, trying to get this price up inside that battle zone, up above, up above the top of that triangle so we can sell it back down. It's going to be really important to sell as high as possible because you got that rising trend line coming just below you. So that obviously is the plan for the bears. Get it up, failure, trap high, two-legged pullback, right, and sell off those highs. What if price goes lower? Here's going to be where the challenge happens. Now, if you take these two swings off the high, right, double down, triple down, quadruple down, the quadruple down is literally to the tick right at that 4602. Uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty big con that, that's pretty convenient, right? So we definitely can see there's an easy target waiting down there. Bulls had to run up on news overnight and of course collapsed here right this afternoon. So those sellers are trying to get down to that low. The problem is if we go lower here, Right again, we know the easy stuff is 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 selling high. If the market if the market goes lower, I find myself in a situation where the only option is to sell low. Now you guys watch the newsletter every night, right? If you watch my newsletter every evening, what do I always say? Whenever whenever there's no choice but to sell low or buy high, what do we do? We look for traps. So trap would be up yep, two-legged move, right? Trap high. Maybe we get a chance to use that trend line now as resistance. Again, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit tough to tell right now, but what you want to make sure is strong move through the low and then whoop, trap high and back down we go, right, for that retest down. What you what you really want to be careful is is just is selling too low. And guys, that even goes for the price, even if it torches lower, even if it reaches the quadruple down. You know, sometimes if it, you know, sometimes there, there are some situations where if it actually reaches that 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 target then you can't be a seller anymore. But if it's, if it's the first time it tests, it'll usually come up and then right back down again, right? We get an example of that on the S&P in a moment. So even if it does go down to that 4602 or 46 even, you know, probably won't stop at 02. If it goes down to 46 even, look for that little trap high, right? And then back down, we go from there. So real, real important, sell high if it goes lower, right? If it goes lower, don't sell low, right? Sell high as well there. Now, how do we turn bullish how do we turn bullish well here's what you're looking for tomorrow 
for a for bullish opportunities here. Again, it's a triangle. So what you want to think of is is think of this triangle as a trading range. And any time we have a trading range, we always look for the two try rule. So the key will be one try, two try, and then out. Now the most important thing about the two try rule, and we talk about this in our advanced classes, is what is it? Separation and significance, right? So for example, I'm not looking for this. One two. No, that's not two tries. I want one back up two, right? See the difference there? You see that difference there? This is one try. This is two tries. Again, this should be separate. There should be some daylight in between these two. Does that make sense, right? So it should be obvious. Uh, let's see a good example of that here right now. Good example, right? Here's two tries, right? Here's, here's one. Big, big move up, another big try back down, right? There's two tries, okay? Uh, let's see here. Uh, here would not be two tries, right? One and two. That's not two tries, okay? That's not two tries, okay? Right? There should be some separation. It should go down, right? Gather itself. All right, one more try. Try again, right? That would be your second try. So what you want to be aware of is a strong move down, probably going to see those bears try again, let them try again, and then that's going to be your buying opportunity, right, coming off again. Two try rule, one try, two try, separation, and it needs to look significant, right? It needs to look those sellers really try it a second time, and we want to see it go back up. We'll cover the rest of those specific details about the two try rule inside of our advanced classes. Now, how about price going higher? Well, as price goes higher, it would need to go up hold a pullback and then go if we can get a pullback to hold above that trend line then we should be okay as long as we see the as, as long as we understand that's news tomorrow right we got news tomorrow at 10 30. so if it happens right around that news give it some time you know again a lot of times this news comes out on wednesday mornings on crude and it just shakes everything up the bottom line though is is get it above strong pullback right strong move pull back hold that pullback and then we're off the races and that will probably give us you know a new bull channel a new set of measured moves to use that all should be pretty easy from there but we have to see the buyers take control the one thing though is if the buyers do take control here just be careful buying into today's high Again, anytime I find myself in a situation where the only option is to buy high, what do we look for, guys? We look for traps, right? Look for traps. Follow that trend, right? Trap low. Look for some support there, right? And, and, and buy that, right? Buy that deep pullback. Nice and easy. Nice and easy we go. So trade the triangle. Buy low, sell high. Don't chase the move lower. And again, watch that two try rule on crude. And again, don't forget those support and resistance levels. Only good for tomorrow. Find them below the video on the blog at Sideways Markets. Boy, that's a big red candle there on the S&P. They took the words out of my mouth. Let's keep going. On the S&P, S&P is bullish, just a little bit bullish here, and recently completed a rotation back to today's high, big, big objective, as well as a measured move, also another big objective. The measured move's a big clue, telling us to look for a two-legged pullback off the highs and look for traps and failures down at support levels for a retest of the measured move in tomorrow's session. Boy, oh boy, where do we start here right now? Most important thing on this chart, I think at least in my opinion, is the fact the market went down and then all the way back up to retest the high. In all reality, this could turn into one big range tomorrow, right? So keep that in mind, right? From the high down to that low, back to the high. What will probably happen is we'll probably wind up and do it again. But just in case those buyers fail on that, right, we'll look for that move back down to retest that low, right? Remember, whenever the bears fail and the bulls take control, their objective will be to always run that price back up where it came from. So the big thing is the buyers just got what they came for, right? The buyers just got that return back to today's high. Now, look what's happening right now. We talk about this all the time in our trade room. When we get back to that high, are we seeing price acceptance or are we seeing price rejection? What does it look like? Look at that big red candle, right? Look at that big red candle. Does that big red candle look like the buyers are buying more or does it look like the buyers took their profit? What do you think? Does that big red candle look like the buyers are buying more up here? Absolutely not. It looks like those buyers are taking their profit. And of course, that tells us we have price rejection. That means we have to really pay attention tomorrow and buy as low as possible.
If you're on the YouTube channel right now, what are you waiting for? Grab that link in the description. Come over to the website here at schooloftrade.com. Learn more about our about our trading strategies here at School of Trade by taking our free trial. I get I get at least a, a, a half dozen emails every day. Yeah, yeah, total right now. I'm kidding. Uh, about, about a half dozen emails every day to say, how do I learn more? Right? If you want to learn more about the strategies before you become a client, check out our free trial at schooloftrade.com. There's a link in the description, right? Or if you're on the blog right now, check out the right hand side, right? Grab that free pass and come out and join me. While you're here, don't forget, don't forget beginner, intermediate, and advanced classes. In the beginner class, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your office your computer, your charting software, all the indicators. I'll teach you economic news, trader psychology, the trading calendar, everything you need to lay a good foundation of knowledge of what I call technology and psychology in the beginner class. The intermediate course is designed to make you an expert on what I call the price action cycle. I can tell you right now, my intermediate course, you will never look at charts the same way ever again. Once you learn that price action cycle, you learn to use simple tools on your charts to identify reliable trading opportunities. And the advanced course is the best of the best. This is the Harvard. This is the Ritz-Carlton of trading education, right? I've been doing this, from what I can tell, been doing this longer than anybody else in the interwebs these days. Uh, our advanced membership is a is the premier, is the premier. Uh, membership never expires. It includes all of our setups, our trading strategy. I wrap together all the cheat sheets, the templates. I give it to you guys in a nice paint by numbers format. That way it's an easy turnkey opportunity for anyone who wants to invest the time right to really become an amazing trader and of course we execute the plan every day in our trade room opening up at eight o'clock eastern time boy oh boy that time flies while well, we're having fun i've taken up too much of your valuable time thank you so much stopping by here don't forget bring a friend next time will you forward this over to some friends bring them along next time to the newsletter and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning eight o'clock eastern time if not we'll do it again tomorrow night around 7 30 eastern time as well i'm out of here for now guys be well out there be nice to each other will you and i'll see you guys next time adios amigos bye-bye for now